Hi, I'm Robert Butler, uh, manager of the inventory here at BGE. I'd like to take the time to show you just how we get prepared for a storm and take a look at our inventory and how we manage it. Okay, I'm going to take you around our yard uh, so you have a look at our inventory and I'm going to explain to you just what we do here. So, come on. Okay, um, during storms like a hurricane and any major storms, uh, these are some of the components that we really need to help restore services. Uh, we have, as you see, a uh, pole mount transformers, uh, wire, some cables, some cones. In the rear there we have cross arms to actually put on poles to help lift wires when they come down. So these are just some of the basic components that we need and I'll show you some more along the way. One of our biggest concerns are the pad mount transformers because these transformers are mounted on the ground and during the flood what happens is the water may seep into them causing them to damage and not work. So. As you can see, we do have a lot of transformers in inventory to support uh, a major storm like a hurricane, and these are one of the components that we'll really be watching as the storm progresses. Usually when wind damage happens in our system, it usually will take out the cross arms. Cross arms are what you guys see a lot on the wooden poles, and what happens is the linemen will have to actually take these cross arms back up, the, up on the pole and attach it once it gets detached during the storm. Uh, as you can see, we carry different sizes of cross arms. This is where our wire and our cable will actually be on the pole. And this is what they use. We have an 8 foot and we have a 10 foot cross arms. And these are usually used a lot, especially during wind storms when there's pole damage or there's wire down. Okay, so we talked a lot about electricity and as far as what we need in case of a major storm. We also have to be concerned about our gas side of our operations. There are some concerns during major uh, storm events also, especially like a flood. Uh, what we usually worry about in a flood is our gas pipe being uh, compromised due to too much water running into them, our valves being compromised. We have to really take that in, into consideration because we do not want to uh, violate the integrity of the pipe. Of course, that would mess up the system and also we won't be able to deliver gas as needed. Okay, so I've showed you some components of our electric system and our gas system. And just want to let you guys know, everything that comes out of our system, whether it's not working anymore due to maintenance problem uh, or we have to replace it, we usually bring it back here and we are very much uh, careful to make sure that we dispose of it in an environmental safe way. Um, we do a lot of work as far as making sure we recycle the material, making sure that the environment is kept safe from material that is coming back from the field.